Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the audio cast from Godoxi Guides. I'm your host and guide, Anindya Banerjee. Our risk sentiments is taking a beating. One side of the Asian equity markets are down after the Chinese services PMI came in softer than expected. The other side of dollar index continues to surge. The euro dollar is now close to 0.99. Pound dollar continues to sell off because European currencies are under deep pressure. Europe may the energy market continues to be chaotic after Russia stopped all flows via the Nord Stream. pipeline first now russia has cited some kind of a technical issue but basically it is being seen as one more move from russia to strangulate europe because winter is coming and uh, we are already uh, uh, the first week of september so the temperatures will begin to cool there in uh, in europe and as it begins to cool and heads towards the f- uh, freezing point things can become far more chaotic in the energy market the prices are becoming so high that there is risk that major uh, businesses can fail consumers can come under deeper stress to ye jo situation hai this is not good for the european currencies because the economies are in deep trouble and without a proper economic support the currencies cannot stand yes the ecb is uh, talking about 75 basis point hike in the uh, meeting this week but ek central bank ka hike se kitna farak padega because until unless you have a strong economy central bank hikes just as a reaction to higher inflation is not going to help the currency at all we have seen it in pound that is the gbp dollar gbp inr the same thing will play out in the euro dollar and euro inr too now before we talk about the levels in the euro dollar and the gbp dollar let's first cover the usd inr now ye jo global situation hai this is positive for dollar broadly kyunki okay? iska impact every emerging market currency every uh, asian currency pe aayega iske liye usd inr 2 will be uh, pushed upward but we have seen that fpi flows have been strong into india at the same time uh, the oil the oil prices are lower and rbi intervention is there at high level so because of these three factors and there are intermittent flows as well uh, corporate flows um, and ecb flows because of which the dollar rupee is unable to break above 80 80 ke upar it has tried twice but it has failed uh, i am talking about the spot levels but the global situation is such that it will be difficult for usd and to fall uh, therefore what we think is going to happen is gradually it's going to drift upward therefore then uh, how to uh, trade this market uh, any sharp uh, pullbacks can be uh, bought into so it's uh, basically a buy on dips where uh, where should be the stop agar hum log spot uh, level ke hisab se dekhe to 79 50 ke upar jab tak ye price hai tab tak the 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 drift or the upward bias is intact 7950 on the spot levels 8010 is a critical resistance on the spot level if it breaks then we are looking up at possibly 80 half so 8010 is going to be very important now p- people who are going short straddles or strangles it is advisable that you convert them to iron flies kyunki iron flies we have explained that in the past ek to uska jo margin requirement hai that's nearly half of a 80 uh, of a straddle and at the same time agar in case there is a, s- a sudden breakout or even a temporary breakout because we have seen a lot of temporary breakdowns and breakout over the past 3 uh, 4 weeks and uh, in such conditions straddles or uh, strangles they tend to have a margin call or you get stopped out but in a iron fly because there is an inbuilt stop loss uh, what is a iron fly you sell a uh, straddle and you buy a strangle to hedge yourself so because it's a hedge strategy iske karan kya hai iron fly mein you can stay on uh, in the position and your lo- uh, losses can be minimized because it's a hedged one so for people who are looking to sell options we would advise instead of straddle or uh, straggle stick to iron flies now uh, uh, as we said the uh, levels are 80 10 and niche mein 79 50 and 79 uh, 60 on cross currency we continue to be bearish on euro inr gbp inr and jpr all three so that's it folks this is anil banerjee signing off a fantastic day ahead